Hello everybody, I'm here, I'm still alive and I want to make a video of what I've been making since I last saw you eight months ago. So anyway, here we go, hoping that I have enough memory on my tablet. So here we go. Right. The first one is knitted and it's from some ice yarns that I think I invested in last year and I started using this when I went to Rome Dublin for three days last August. So it was a quick knit, um, I managed to do it in a day while I was off work for sciatica, I've been off for three weeks but there we go. Anyway, it's our Sean's, it's in pink and grey, and I love the patterning. Some people thought that I'd actually done some colour work, and I explained to them that's how it come out in the yarn. So, here we go. It's just a mini shawl, just enough for me to tie around my neck when I'm at work in the morning. So, but, uh, and I love how it has strapped and it does from a distance makes me look very clever that I have done colour work but just standard stockinette stitch that's all so I think I had just under just under one ball left so I didn't want it really to be too much long because obviously when I'm driving it would get in my way and stuff so but there we go and I did some eyelets at the end of it, so just plain, simple, stockinette stitch, increasing the stitches on either end, on the knit side, so that's one, one, one. Next one is crochet, just a quick little thing, and it's a cowl. And I've twisted it, like you call it, infinity. So it's only a mini thing. Um, just standard half double crochet. So, um, and it's from the yarn that I buy a lot of at Pan Stretchers. And I just love their stuff, and it's really nice. So, but yeah, plain double half double crochet uh, take them about 45 minutes one day so not much on the telly for saying it's nearly Christmas but that's it and I just love I love this variegated stuff I think it's fab so that's that and I had a bit well I had some left over and a friend of mine who I work with and um, she she won't live as long. She called me a work mum, but she's left now because she's having her third child and just off a whim, top of my head, I made a little baby Cordy. So I do hope she's going to have a girl because it's got pink in it, but she don't want to know. She's hoping for a boy because she's already got two daughters. So I've not added the bottoms on. Um, but that's it really and it is for a newborn because the sleeves are so tiny but just summer I made up myself as I think a darts tournament was on about a month ago and I was watching the darts because I love darts and, and I made this so darts started at 7 finished at 11 so by the time I'd done I'd made this but I do love the patterning in this I think they call it the magic magic knit the pan stretchy yarn so I just buy loads and loads so that's that and with the bit that I had left I made myself some fingerless mitts to match the colour of the cowl I know the cow's crocheted but for some reason I just prefer knitted fingerless mitts but there we go 
I know they're not matching in pattern but they are the same colour I just love it why do people like things perfect and matching and not me I think you all know where I'm like by now but I love them just went with a whim no pattern again so right anyway do you remember I don't know if it was my last video or the video before I was knitting a scarf and I called it I can't make my stitch up well I finished it and it is of all different stitches and are we ready for the unveiling so here it is my can't make my stitch up so yes it's uh, very unusual as I was showing you look I've got rib stitches garter stitch slip stitches lace bit of lacy pattern and odd bits of garter <laughs> and yeah just oh and and just there just one one odd cable see that's why i called it i can't make me stitch up but yeah so oh and then i did some bubble stitches in it with an offset <laughs> Lacy bit, see? Couldn't decide, couldn't decide. And uh, uh, I don't really. I was trying to just. I don't know what I was doing there, but. You know, maybe. Decreasing, but. There we go. This is my. Can't make my stitch up scarf this is so yes it's been a long time in progress but it's done and it's but I look it's again it's that um, I think they call it wanding it out of pound stretcher but this this the yarn it feels so smooth and everything and I just love it as I keep saying but there we go so <laughs> that is complete right again more yarn that I got at a pound stretchers and this is um, I've made another shawl scarf this time it's in dark grey white cream charcoal colour I'd say my own pattern again so but anyway this is knitted again but there we go and it's quite big so but yeah this is another one I ended up with by the time I casted it off, I think I had, was it 370 something, so there's quite a lot in these skeins, <laughs> but there it is, so it's pretty wide, look, but it's just some, I don't know, I've just gone mad on making these I don't wear them as shawls I have them as scarves at the front and it's like oh where'd you get that from I made it oh aren't you clever not really it's just everybody likes to do these so right <laughs> and another one right this yarn I can't remember what it's called I brought it off eBay it's a hand dyed one and it was two skeins but 
they want much shortage on them and but i seen it and i love it and it's pinks purples my my colors but i know i'm in black today but and again just a pattern that i made up myself and it's a a strange one it's odd looking but i wear it so but yeah and i've done that rose yeah, what did i do so every so often on the knit side i'd pearl and then on the pearl side i'd knit and then i'd put some lacy bits in it look but yeah the colours are really nice I mean, it don't show up because it's not very bright here but that's what I've made it's an odd shape one but I wear it so as I'm going I'll have one for every day of a month soon but how much did this this cost me I think it was like eight and each but undyed and it's no particular patterning to it but I just love the colour I just loved it so that's another one to my wall of shawls so yeah and uh, alas I've made a hat uh, didn't go very well. I think I was a bit off the day I made this, or I used the wrong size needle. And it's out of the Karen Cakes Rainbow. Is it Rainbow Brights or Sprout? So I made a, a shawl wrap, which I will show you. But I had a bit left, so I made me. I made a hat. What was left out of it? So. Just, but I think I used the wrong size needles because it's rather big so it's more to fit a man than it would be me really but yeah I just made it up again myself so so many stitches stuck in it and then I alternated them I can't even speak properly but yeah so I do like these Karen cakes. It's just they go on for miles and miles, but I wasn't sure whether to put a pom pom on the top. But I think it'd fit a man more. It would Rita here as it's. But yeah, just that hat. I've not knitted a hat for ages. So I used to do a lot of that in my videos years ago. But no. Just add and add to the same yarn. I've knitted a scarf. I can't even call it infinity scarf, you wrap it around your neck. But I was being. I decided every colour change I'd do a different knit stitch so I don't even remember what I did there so anyway so in the orange it's just the plain garter stitch with knitted edging uh, but you know it's really soft and then in the red bit I don't even remember what stitch this is I did it quite a while ago I just I can't remember I don't know if you can see if any hey look unless I I don't know can't remember the name of that stitch in that bad it's about four months ago I made this 
but that's the red one and oh no I think I did the same part of the blue as well look then just and that one is just some I made up myself look I just on the yellow bit on that scarf just yeah. I just thought it'd be somewhat different so every colour change it'd be a different but there's not much of that blue so um, I think there was more orange I think in these rainbow Karen cakes is more orange but anyway just that knitted scarf I think I've wrapped it round it twice maybe could try and do it again I'll choke myself but no so it's that and a friend I told you about I made the baby cardi for I've made her a baby blanket she don't know yet but and it is our it's our proper baby on and it's from Sue Ryder one of our charity shops and it is nice and I've made one of them it's star blanket things um, but yeah this what I've made for her baby so just I haven't done it very big she's because she says you know, she she likes handmade knitted or crocheted baby blankets, but not too big. And then as the baby gets a bit bigger, she can put it on the floor for him or her to lay on. But I think I got this pattern off yarn, yarn inspirations. Um, and do you know what? It was dead easy. I did, I followed the pattern for the first two rows. Then just mileage didn't have to I didn't have to follow the pattern again because just knew it yeah and it crocheted up really quick too. But yes, there's the baby blanket that I've made for my friend. I love these colours, they look dead bright, don't they? They look brighter there. But that's another one. <laughs> And guess what? Again, I had that pine stretcher yarn. That magic knit. I've made another one. Look. Uh, this one. I think this one's about the same size as that black and grey. Um, just random stitches again like I did before. Um, but yes, I love it. I've not worn this one yet because it's rather big but I don't know whether to give this these big ones that I make I don't know whether to give them to a couple of my service shoes ladies I made one for a, a birthday and she loved it and she wears it all the time it's my baby it's my baby so I did say to her I'm thinking of doing her another one for Christmas but I don't know, but that's it anyway. So, just some randomness. I don't think there's many stitches on this one. Um, about 250, I think I got. But if I block it, it's going to be giant almost. But yeah. I just love the randomness of this um, pan stretch yarn. Anyway. I made a headband warmer out of um, Vanna's Choice and the colour Tangerine Mist. It's just a standard little head warmer, but <laughs> I think I made it um, longer than I should have. So what I did was attach that and because of this little flap I thought I'll put a button on but yeah 
But that's it. I put this on so I remembered what yard it was. I only got a bit of this. I don't know if I used it for another project. I don't know, but... What stitch did I do? It's crochet. I think I did half double and double crochet, I think. Um, yeah. Right. But yeah, and it feels dead so not worn it. But I don't know if I will. But that's it. Vanish Choice Lion Brand. Tangerine Mist. All my own creation. And I've made another cow. This is crocheted and hand knit with Love Chunky colour blend yarn. Again, pound stretcher. No colour, um, but I think I crocheted this on an eight because it is quite thick. So but I think it's half double crochet, double crochet again. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It's patterned out all right, I suppose. But I didn't know about the patterning, how it's done. But yeah, and it's warm, and it's warm. But and it's quite, quite soft. But yeah, just uh that's all right in it, I guess. These are quite handy when you have things like this for, you know, someone's birthday's coming up and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, I've got one more, one more. I forgot about it. Just bear with me. That again, Karen's cake. Rainbow. I think it's rainbow bright. Or rainbow sprinkles. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it's rain, the rainbow bright or rainbow sprinkles. That's just one of them anyway. So I've made another shawl, which this one is is ginormous, and it says what it does on the tin, as they say, because. It does look like a rainbow. So it is massive. I just, I think, where is that? Where is that? I was doing this over every other weekend um, in the summer when I was off. And I was just mindless crochet, isn't it, really? Watching telly and watching telly and watching telly. Before I know it, Look at the size of it, it's massive and it's bloody keep you warm too. Yes. But that's my rainbow bright. Rainbow. Oh. I see. Do you know? I think this colour would look nice in one of them virus shows, but do you know what? I'm absolutely annoyed. Everyone can do them. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I can't. I think the first time I tried it, I followed the pattern and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And just how do you all manage to do it? Just, you know, have you all followed the pattern first and then memorise it? I just can't get the hang of it, that the, the, the pattern. And I need some help. Please help me. And I so want to do a virus show. It's, it's the trend, everyone's doing it. So, but I think, I think that's all I have to show you. Which ain't a lot, really, is it, for eight months? Um, anyway, if some of you don't know or haven't got me on Facebook or Instagram uh, in the summertime I had a spare of the moment thing and I got a new tattoo and I will show you and all you yarny people out there will know will know but there is my tattoo 
and you do know what it is yet. <laughs> so boy's saying, what's that? What's that? It means something to me. But anyway, guys, it's my weekend off this weekend, so I am going to be doing some catching up on videos and stuff. And I am so happy that I've actually made one after eight months less than a week before Christmas I can't believe it and I think Christmas Eve weekend I think it's my weekend and I'm hoping fingers crossed that I've actually got Christmas Day off because I did them all last year so but anyway I shall leave it for now my lovely people and oh I might do another one tomorrow because over the months why I've not been on I've been enhancing my stash and I have a massive box, big pink box and I've already got through it because I've been buying all that pant stretcher stuff but I think I might share that with you tomorrow actually so you'll probably see my face twice in a weekend and then that will be it again for a bit because I've shown you all this stuff. Oh, I know what I haven't showed you. I've been... That poncho. I've been doing some more work on it. Uh, I'll not show it because it is downstairs. And I'm up in my bedroom, as you can tell, as always. That's my place to do it. But So, my lovely ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for staying with me on my channel even as though I haven't done any for a long time and I appreciate your support and everything else so oh wait 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 another project <laughs> sorry crochet again pound stretchy on and I've started it and I've run out of the colour so I need to get another one and it's going to be a blanket and it's shell stitch and pound stretcher pound stretcher. and no way am I affiliated with pound stretcher so but it's just this yarn I love it so much maybe they ought to give me a share in the yarn. <laughs> but anyway it's fan stitch shell stitch um and then I put added a bit of lime in it so I'm going I can't remember if I'm going 12 rows then the lime green 12 rows so this has been going on for months because this is going to be one big ass blanket when it's finished it could be one of my projects it's going to take me a year to do because it's like I love, I do, I love it. It's so easy to do, this this fan, fan stitch. I was thinking of see if I could do a shawl in it. I've never done a knitted fan stitch. I don't know if you can. Is it hard to do? Has any of you done that? I don't know, but yes, I love. But it's quite, I think I've crocheted 200, a 280 chain, so... But yeah, and the colours, aren't they great? Aren't they great? Just random, see? This is what I like about her. You have all this colour, and then it, just that random bit of white. This is what I like about this pound stretcher stuff. But this is going to be a long, 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 long project of mine. I'm in no rush to do it, so uh, nobody particular but I think that's it ladies and gentlemen um, I will upload this now it probably took a while I can't be half an hour half an hour uh, I've missed everybody but I've still been watching when I've had a bit of a break I've come home and watching them and you know and um, stuff so but I'm back alive Working, knitting, crocheting, card making for Christmas. So, but 
I'll let you all go. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday afternoon. And you'll probably see me tomorrow with my yarny video of all my stuff that I've been buying over the months. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll probably see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.